welcome back. This is Out of Nesters. We're back with another build video. This time we're in The Sims 4. We're making a one bedroom, one bath, base game, no CC starter house. It didn't start out to be a starter house necessarily. It actually started out to be something else, but morphed into a starter house that's suitable for a single parent sim with a baby or an infant or a toddler or even a child. It clocked out at around 19,398 simoleons, so you have a couple thousand simoleons left over for food and bills until your sim gets some kind of a job. I started out with just the couple of basic squares offset to the north and south a little bit. You can see that we're struggling a little bit here with the roof, um, trying to make sure that it's flush. I don't usually do high walls on my builds for myself. I find that's a lot of space to cover, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I went with a medium size wall here, added a platform at the front because we're in Windenburg and we've got some beaches here. So hopefully a nice set of steps will go nicely to a path out there. The height of the walls allowed us to use a couple of columns at the front, which was nice. And considering the height of the wall, and the fact that we're trying to do something base game, the doors were really limited and the windows were really limited, um, but I found the exterior door with a multi-pane window and fan light uh, that turned, about, turned out to be really perfect there and had a nice cross pattern uh, at the front. Uh, we also found the same pattern on the medium window, the octopane, which was very nice and took up a lot, a lot of that wall height. At the triangle up top, uh, we went with the short classic casement. Turns out that it also had that front cross pattern, uh, so that was really nice. And then it was time to start coloring the outside of the house. Admittedly, I was trying to go for something light and airy, but that does not seem to happen here as I always end up with something warm and nice earthy tones. And so it looks like that's what happened here as well. Um, but in any event, um, we just went with it and kept the color. Um, so for the outside of the house, I went with a simple siding because I really like the texture that it provides to the outside and then just started choosing some uh, trim color for the walls. I went with white to brighten things up a little bit because again, I was trying to keep things bright um, and then colored up the foundation as well. To kind of blend the colors out and then it was time to start taking a look at the inside of the house and figure out what to do we've got plenty of space on the outside of the lot to be able to expand but for right now since we've got a, such a small inside um, i thought you know we needed to open up the space a little bit so we took down the wall between what i think is going to be the kitchen and the living room and to buy a little bit more light on the inside um, we went with the bunker bather window um, just you know to create a little bit more the illusion of a little bit more space added some light so that we can actually see what's going on around here and I started the inside with really light wood on the walls and the floors again thinking that I was gonna go light and bright and airy um, we'll see how that turns out, um, but in any event, uh, we added the small, small windows to the top, which I tend to abuse the light boxes as well for the garages and for any small area like the bathroom. We're starting off in the kitchen, uh, starting off doing the cabinetry and the basic essentials, the fridge and the stove and the sink. I went with the Harbinger set for the counters and the cabinets because, um, well, they were white and I was trying to lighten things up uh, and they provide a nice mainstream look. So it kind of gives, gives the house a bit more of a modern feel. Added a little trash can. Unfortunately, we did not have the simoleons to go with a nano can, although I would have loved to have included that. But considering we're trying to stay in budget, that was not going to work out. I, uh, I did manage to include the tea maker, the magic personal brewer, um, which I find is valuable and much, much better than the coffee pot uh, for all of your needs. And we're adding some clutter here to the kitchen. I do eventually come back to the kitchen um, and remove some of this stuff because to stay on budget, some of it, as it turned out, was quite expensive. 
I use the immaculate shelving at the window, which I tend to abuse. And then add a be woven rugs. As it turned out, the filter for the base game was not on at the time, and I did not realize that while I was going through the kitchen. So the woven rugs, even though I love, love, love them, did not make the cut in the final product. We ended up letting those go in favor of something else. Um, the immaculate shelf made an appearance again up top, um, but we do need to revisit all the clutter, which we will do later. I ended up going back and creating a little bit more space between what I think is the bathroom and the bedroom to provide a little bit more space in the bedroom since we need to fit an adult and a child or infant sim in there. I provided an extra window there for some light uh, in light of that and then started to uh, provide a little color on the walls. I went with the retro lux paneling in here and of course a, an earthy color which I was trying to avoid uh, in any event. We went with the uh, Blando Contemporary Crib which can be upgraded from an infant to a toddler. Added some feedback items so that they don't contribute to the cost as well as a single bed, though a double does fit. Um, we went with the Blendo end table, and what we did for the lamp there is just took that same lamp that's a standing lamp, downsized it, and then uh, lifted it up with all nine to put it on that end table right there. Then I moved into the bathroom. The bathroom's always a challenge, but we wanted to get the <laughs> essentials in here, which is the bathroom, the toilet, the sink, and the mirror, as well as the little kitty pooper <laughs> so we've got that taken care of um we'll end up coming back to the bathroom as my thoughts are not yet complete there but we continue with the kitchen replacing the more expensive items with the cheaper items and some items from debug uh, as well as continue to replace any items that are not base game replace the rugs and add the kindermaid classic for the high chair moving into the living room it was an opportunity, considering the height of the walls, to add a couple of good sized contemporary windows to provide some nice light in here, uh, so we did that. For the sofa, I went with the Squarely There Modern Sofa, as well as the Little Joni, which I don't usually do, but that seemed to fit here. Added some books and a small TV for entertainment, as well as the contemporary Blando end tablers as well. Uh, the flowers are from Debug and added some rugs for warmth. Uh, finished it off with some blinds and curtains. And now we're back to the bathroom. So the bathroom is very difficult because it's so small. Uh, so what I focused on was uh, pulling out the immaculate again, as well as some beams from debug, which were free, so they didn't contribute to the cost and creating a little shelf here to house some debug plants at the top, as well as a book and some candles, and um, yep, a little sponge, and a rubber ducky for your toddler sim. With the inside of the house being done, it was time to do the landscaping, and basically I just tried to find as many trees and shrubs and plants and flowers that were either exactly like the ones surrounding the lot in Windenburg or similar so that the lot could blend into the surrounding area and kind of put everything in random places here and there. I did use the terrain tool originally, again with that filter issue, not realizing that the original terrain that I used for paint was not base game. So I ended up having to go back and um, sort of re-darken the areas under the shrubs and the trees and around the outside of the house. I did a little something with the front porch I found a stool and a watering can and fertilizer as well as a, a little package from debug so I put that at the front as well as a couple of hanging plants I hope you enjoyed thank you very much for stopping by please consider subscribing hitting the like button and enjoy the tour thank you bye bye